Prince Harry had a very special reunion with the Queen at Prince Philip's funeral despite the fallout following his bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview, Finding Freedom has claimed. An updated epilogue for the biography, written by Omid Scobie and Carol Durand and due to be released on August 31st, the 24th anniversary of Princess Diana's death, reports that the Duke of Sussex got to spend precious moments with his grandmother following the funeral of Prince Philip in April. The Duke of Sussex travelled to London from his £11 million mansion in Santa Barbara, California, without his wife Meghan Markle, who was advised not to fly due to being heavily pregnant with daughter Lilibet at the time. While the book claims Prince Harry spent most of his time after the funeral with his cousin Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooks Bank at Frogmore Cottage, where he is believed to have stayed while in the UK, he also reportedly spent a few precious moments with the monarch after being separated for more than a year amidst the pandemic. To see each other after so long apart, the longest he hadn't seen the Queen for, was very special, a source told authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, according to Town and Country. Despite everything that has happened, he has the utmost love and respect for her. Her life of duty and service is one of the many ways in which she has inspired him to also serve. The late Duke of Edinburgh's funeral marked the first time Harry and William had been seen together since March 2020, when they attended a Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey with other royals. Relations were reportedly soured by the couple's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, in which they attacked senior royals while Philip, who died on April 9 at the age of 99, lay in hospital in London. However, all tensions appeared to be pushed aside at the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral, with the princes talking while walking out of St. George's Chapel following the service, having earlier taken part in the procession either side of their cousin Peter Phillips behind the Duke of Edinburgh's coffin. Harry was initially seen speaking to his sister, in, Law Kate Middleton as they left the chapel and began walking, but then she appeared to hang back so he could talk to William for a few moments without her. The source went on to claim that the Duke of Sussex spent most of his time after the funeral with cousin Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank. Harry and Meghan were handed the keys to Frogmore, on the royal, owned Windsor Home Park estate, as a wedding gift by the Queen. But, after spending £2.4 million in taxpayer-funded renovations, which they later agreed to pay back, the couple quit the UK and jetted off to America. Eugenie and husband Jack then moved into the five-bedroom home in November last year. The couple welcomed their first child, August, in February. Harry quarantined at Frogmore after arriving from the US for Prince Philip's funeral. An updated edition of Harry and Meghan biography Finding Freedom also made a string of other fresh claims that are likely to trigger debate about the state of their relationship with the royal family. A leaked version of the epilogue claimed the couple had considered naming the royal they alleged had made a racist comment about their son, Archie. That some royals were quietly pleased the Duchess of Sussex missed Prince Philip's funeral and that Prince William was furious about their interview with Oprah. The new edition also said the Sussexes had no regrets about quitting their royal roles and that Meghan found her explosive Oprah interview cathartic and liberating. Meghan plunged the monarchy into crisis after telling Oprah Winfrey that an unnamed royal had expressed concern about Archie's skin before he was born. The epilogue reveals that a source told authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand that the Sussexes had considered naming the family member but had ultimately decided not to. It also claimed that sources close to the Sussexes had said that the royal family's reaction to the allegations made by the couple was not positive. The source told the authors that there had to be some acknowledgement about what the Sussexes went through for there to be progress. The criticism came after a carefully, worded statement from the Queen following the controversial Oprah interview, which expressed concern for the couple but insisted that some recollections may vary.